If you own a Shopify store, or even if you're building one for a client, you may want to remove the Powered by Shopify text at the very bottom of the website. In this Shopify tutorial, I'm not only going to show you how to remove the text entirely, but also replace it with a link. So if we take this store, for example, we have the Powered by Shopify text right next to the copyright information and store name. Within the Shopify admin, I'm going to show you how to edit the footer code to remove the Powered by Shopify text. First thing we need to do is click on Online Store. And that's going to bring us to the themes page. Over on the right hand side, we have these three little dots here. Simply click on it and then hit edit code. That's going to show us a long list of Shopify files that we can edit. In the search field, simply type in the word footer. And the file that we're going to modify is footer.liquid. So let's go ahead and click on it. If you've never touched these files before, that's completely fine. I'm going to show you exactly what to edit here. And the fastest way to find what we're looking for here is to hit Command or Control F, depending on what computer you're on, and then simply look for the word Powered. So once we type in the word Powered, we'll hit the Next button, and you can see it on this line here. And if we head on back to our website, we can see here that we have a copyright symbol, the year, the store name, and then the Powered by Shopify link. So if we keep that in mind and then head on back to the code, we have the copyright symbol, the year, our shop name, which links to our homepage. And then down here, we have, of course, the Powered by Shopify link. So if all you wanted to do was remove the Powered by Shopify link, simply highlight from curly brackets to curly brackets, and then hit delete. We'll go ahead and hit save, and then head on back to the store to test it out. And now that I've refreshed the page, you can see that the Powered by Shopify link is completely gone. So if that's all you came here for, congratulations, you are done. But if you wanted to add additional text in its place or even a link, I'm gonna show you that part next. So let's head on back to the code and I'm just gonna hit Command Z to undo our changes and put the Powered by Shopify link back. So instead of removing it entirely this time, we're going to replace it with some text as well as a link. And this will likely come in very handy if you're building websites for other people. So let's say you're a web agency or a web designer or developer, you can add a link pointing back to your website in hopes of gaining future clients. So in this case, let's replace it with some text, website created by Easter Kings. And I'll hit save just to show you what that looks like currently. Of course, we'll refresh the page. And then here you have it, website created by Easter Kings. So we have the text, but now we want to add a link. So again, we'll go back to the code. So I'm going to write out the link here, but don't worry too much. I will add it to the description. So we go a href equals, and then within the quotation marks, we will put our link. So now that I've added the link at the beginning of the text, I have to go and close the tag. And so now not only do we have the text, we have the link as well. So let's hit save. We'll go back to the website and refresh the page where you can see the brand new link. So if we click on the link, it will go to the eStarkings.com website. The only other thing that I would personally do in this case is have it open up in a new tab. So if we head on back to the code, we can modify it ever so slightly to open up in a new tab. And to do that, we're going to enter target equals underscore blank. And then that way the Shopify store can remain open, even though the person has clicked on a link that takes them off of the website. So one last time, let's hit save and refresh the page. And this time when we click on the eStoreKings.com link, it will open a new tab. So that's it for the Shopify tutorial. If you got stuck at any point, definitely let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to help you out. And be sure to check out eStoreKings.com for written tutorials and much more.